stay behind me. The change of perception. Notice pervade. Come <laughs> on. 
world around me. I can hear it clearer now. I can sense an improvement in my strength. I suppose you are well versed in the art of training too. Check your terminal signals and wear the Academy's protective suit correctly. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, I have experiments to run. Take care. The Academy has noted a concerning rise in tacit field activities. Please use caution when exiting the city. It's just Baija being Baija. She's a little awkward with showing care, but I think it's cute. Anyway, Rover, quick, tell us what happened. The frags at us again? Ugh, those jerks! Gian the General. Jean C. the Magistrate, and Jue, the Jinjo Sentinel. Is there any kind of connection between them? Connection? No idea. But I did hear General Jian used to be a military doctor. Hmm. Speaking of that, I think we'll need to start with a bit of Jinjo's past. A storyteller near the theater once told us something like this. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the Crescent. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years, to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely rose to confront the threat. As Twin Moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising his blade against the blood-red crescent that foretold destruction. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all who dared stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. Until the Retroact Rain began to fall. Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged, loyal souls fell to blood-soaked sands, infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshu Lin demanded all soldiers stand firm no matter what happened. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshu Lin charged at the Overthrax with all his might, and he was never seen again. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone youth bravely stood up to lead a hard-won retreat. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, 
earning him a notorious reputation in Huan Long. That battle struck us hard, but our sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate who guide us into the future. Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. I'm hearing about all that. Uh, maybe the Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true. Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the magistrate one day. Not gonna lie. I understand your concern, Rover. Madam Jinshi was only a teenager, and she was suddenly selected to be the magistrate. It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madame Jinshu because they trusted Jue's judgment. Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madame Jinsi, she's already made the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I'd have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. She was made for this. Now, what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? The Norfolk Barons? It's been a battlefield since ancient times. Rover, it's dangerous there. The Norval Barons is the front line in our defense against the Thrinodian. We must be careful about going there. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? They sent two overseers at once. Their scheme must be far more expansive than we thought, though the Fraxidas do seem to know a lot about you. Their ideology and actions are too dangerous, and right now, the odds are in their favor. If we rush into a confrontation, it could lead us into their traps. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jin- The Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like the name of a place, but I've never seen it on any map. This flower. It's only a photo, and I can't tell where it came from with my ability. Hmm. We're still in the dark about Fraxida's plans, and the Norfolk Barrens is too risky. The Black Shores seems to be our only option now, but if we are to look for them with only a photo of this flower, it's going to be difficult. Since it's about flowers, we should go ask Grandma Lin. Yes, Grandma Lin runs a flower shop. I'm sure she can give us some tips. <laughs> You're making me blush a little. Grandma Lin loves listening to storytellers. I think I saw her earlier. Let's go look for her. Shisha, Yang Yang, what brought you here? Hey, Grandma Lin, we're here for some stories today. And here's our new friend. Ta-da! 
We've got the ultimate badass here, the one who can crush TDs, cook up Echoes, knock Inferno Rider flat, and KO Falian Baringle with a single punch. The legendary Rover. Oh my, you're such a sweetheart. Grandma Lynn, since you're the flower expert, I got a favor to ask. Have you seen flowers like this one before? Hmm, I'm familiar with most of the flowers local to Jinjo, but this one, oh, it doesn't match anything we have here. I don't think I've seen anything similar, not even in the plant encyclopedias. Oh no, if not even a flower expert like you can recognize it, who else could help us? Oh, Chisha, I'm far from an expert. We've got a plant-type resonator here in Jinjo, remember? She knows the plants much better than me. Oh, are you talking about that young lady? I always see her helping out at your store. Yes, she has been a great help. She knows a lot about everything plant-related. And she is such a sweet child. Her smiles always make me happy. She reminds me of the lovely star flowers. I'd call out to her, little star flower, it's dinner time. And she'd always answer with her brightest smile. What a lovely girl. Oh. How I wish she was my granddaughter. She's probably up in the back mountain doing some field research. I said I wanted a field in the back mountain to plant my flowers, and she offered to help right away. That's where she is now, checking it out. Go in that direction, and soon you'll see a waterfall. Walk right through the waterfall, then, you'll reach the back mountain. Thank you so much, Grandma Lynn. Oh, any time, dearie. Don't forget to visit my Penjing shop. I'll have treats ready for you. Time before the next session. Here are some books to keep you entertained before that, dear listeners. So, you want to learn more about that battle. They say storytelling inevitably carries some subjective bias, all to enhance the ebb and flow of the narrative. But when it comes to the battle beneath the crescent, we typically avoid adding any of our personal commentary, focusing instead on accurately retelling history. But even just telling the story carries a heavy emotional weight. Was Geshu Lin truly an unforgivable sinner? Was General Jian the perfect hero? The sudden onset of the Retroact Reign, the decision of our Sentinel, and the timing behind this series of events. <sighs> I guess it will be up to future generations to figure it all out. <laughs> Tough break. It's just plain bad luck. So, you want to learn more about that battle? Not many youngsters care these days. I'm happy to talk about it with you. People blamed Geshu Lin for his decision to push for an attack during the Retroact Reign. But he's ultimately just a human like the rest of us. Him having a powerful resonance ability doesn't change that. Fate can be a funny thing. Nobody could have predicted that weird rain happening. If our soldiers hadn't held on to the defense lines in the Norfolk Barrens to the last minute, Jinjo might have fallen too. Anyone. Even someone like me would have probably given a similar order in that situation. So, I don't think Geshu Lin should be painted as an unforgivable criminal. General Jian is a capable leader, no doubt. 
But let's be real. He only rose to fame for showing up at the right time. That's just how fate works sometimes. Or maybe he's got his own personality to blame. Oh, you want my take on it? I'm not very familiar with the history, but I did hear some rumors about General Geshu Lin. Compared to all the past Midnight Rangers generals, Geshu Lin wasn't that big on commanding his troops from behind. He preferred being right there on the battlefield, leading the charge. To achieve his strategic goal, he didn't even hesitate about sending people to their deaths. It makes sense that he'd refuse to let his troops retreat. People said the troops he commanded were disciplined, but I guess the soldiers obeyed him more out of fear than respect. So I think you can pretty much have an idea about General Geshu Lin's personality. Honestly, I think he deserved it. The moment he lost his soldiers' support, his failure was pretty much unavoidable. And considering the heavy losses he caused, <laughs> yeah, he should be called a criminal. Is it a coincidence? Is it fate? No, no. Oh, oops, are you talking to me? My bad, I was lost in my thoughts. I'm a student at Jinjo Imperial Academy studying history, and I'm especially intrigued by everything related to the Sentinel. The Sentinel plays a crucial role in Jinjo's history. But here's something interesting. I'm not sure if you've noticed. In our local folklore and tales, the Sentinel is always portrayed as an omnipotent being that transcends human understanding. But I believe there must be a pattern in its thought process. The people chosen to become magistrates must share some similar traits. So I wonder, what criteria does the Sentinel use to select future leaders? But after that crushing defeat, everyone's confidence took a hit. We still wanted to win, to eliminate that dreadful monster once and for all, but we became more cautious. Interestingly, the newly appointed general and magistrate both seem to be the calm and cautious type. Perhaps the Sentinel chooses our leaders based on the public consensus at the time. But hey, that's just me thinking out loud. I'm all ears to your opinions. Your take might just open my eyes. Shortcut to the Bat Mountain. Once we cross the waterfall, we'll reach Mount Ping-Ting. <sighs> the flowers seem to be showing us the way. Let's follow it. <laughs> Flower. That's
That's what my grandma Lynn likes to call me. Oops, sorry. I should have introduced myself first. I know it's a polite thing to do in Huanlong. It is. It is a delight to make your acquaintance. I am Verena. My pressure to have the opportunity to meet with you today. Uh, really? But that flower next to you said she likes you a lot. <laughs> Plants don't lie. I trust their words, so you can't be bad guys. Hi, Verena. I'm Chisha. This is Yang Yang, and he's Rover. Grandma Lin told us we should come find you. <laughs> oh, right. Grandma Lin talked about you. I left those flowers so she knows how to reach me. What seems to be the trouble? If there's anything I can help you with... We're looking for a special flower. Hmm, it's an unusual flower indeed. Pure black flowers are rarely found in nature. We can't rule out the possibility that it's been dyed. When looking at the structure, there are a few types of flowers that seem similar. Take iris, for example. Its petals are similarly oval-shaped, but it has double petals. And it's not viola either, since viola has notched petals. Then there is also the cliff recluse, but this flower has a longer stamen and an extra petal. <laughs> Lemongrass is also similar in shape. It's native to the New Federation, and Huanlong people may not be familiar with it. Though it has a similar stamen length, it has a conical inflorescence with a trumpet-shaped corolla. Oh, and I almost forgot the peacock flower! It's a single petal flower with a similar stamen length. But the peacock flower has a distinct peduncle, while this one doesn't. Wow, you really know your stuff! I learned a lot from that. Anyway, this black flower does look very special. There are hardly any similar plants in nature, so I'm thinking it might be a newly cultivated species. Also, its veins are somehow cross-shaped. I can feel some faint traces of frequency fluctuations on it, too. It's a sign of overflowing remnant energy. So, my guess is it should be a unique remnant plant created by a certain type of resonance energy. But in order to figure out the right soil for it, or exactly what type of resonance energy it is, I need more than just a picture. Gosh, help us out, someone! We don't know what kind of flower it is, and we haven't seen anyone wearing it either. Speaking of that, how does it even work? If I wore this flower on me right now, do I automatically become one of them? Chizia, wait, what did you just say? Uh, yeah, I was just saying, if I wore this flower, would they immediately see me as one of their own? If this black flower is indeed their symbol, the black shore members should immediately notice it on you, but to everyone else, it would just look like a peculiar flower. Given that, if they are indeed in Jinjo City, we may only need to wear this flower to lure them out. Oh, I see! But how do we get our hands on one? Um, I, I, I could probably make one for you with my resonance ability, if you just need something that looks similar. Come on, Verena. You can do it. No way! That's amazing, seriously! It looks exactly like the flower in that picture. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I'm glad I could help. It's freaking amazing! Could you do that again? Please! I love it! Rover, did you see that? Miss Verena just conjured up this exquisite blade bloom out of thin air. And it looks exactly like the one in the photo. Um, it's just my resonance ability. 
Could you please make another one? Then there'll be one for each of us. Uh, sure, I'll give it another try. for a while now. They're scattered all over the place. I'm pretty sure they're not made by Miss Verena. The streams have been disrupted. Someone has been following us. Rover, are you sure you want us to leave? It could be dangerous for you. Okay. Trisia and I will wear these black flowers and go look for members of the Black Shores in the city. Rover, please be careful. Ring us anytime when you need help. Rover, did you see that? Miss Verena just- And it looks exact- Um, it's just my re- Could you please make another- uh, Sure, I'll give it another- Oh, I see. And guess what? Miss Verena just made another blade bloom for us. Now it comes in hand easy peasy. I've got this. Miss Verena, we should get you home now. Oh, uh, sure. One moment, please. Oh, I see. And guess what? Miss Easy Pe- Miss Farina. We sh- Oh, uh, uh, sure. What? The Fraxidus. What are they doing in a place like this? Damn that woman. Always getting in our way. And what are you doing here? Get lost! I'll have to take them down first. No hesitation. The weird noises persist. They're coming after me. If I climb up to that point, I should be. If I climb up. If I climb up to. If I climb up to that point, I should be able to get behind that person. for now. Looking for me? Oh, here you are.
You're such a box full of surprises. So we're playing truth or dare now. I see. Oops. <laughs> Getting angry, are we? Sorry, but it's just so much fun to rile you up. You're the very first person to pique my interest like this. You have great potential. Okay, so you're not up for small talk. I'll keep that in mind. You're my mission target after all. Bingo! I'm one of the bloom bearers of the Black Shores. This Blake Bloom is our symbol. It represents our mission to save the world. That's what it says in the rules, at least. Our plans? Hmm. What is it again? Oh, to recruit as many talents as we can and save the world from its impending doom. So are you in? Nah, uh I don't. The world? Couldn't care less. If it's all going boom tomorrow, why not have fun while we can? To stop it, nothing for more power. Take down any prey without mercy, and indulge in all our desires for the ultimate pleasure. Well, I mean... I'd love to live that way, but alas, duty calls. The Black Shores, our garden, is home to many green fruits, and we'll make you the most special seed among them all. My duty is to nurture and safeguard seeds like you, allowing them to blossom into luscious fruits. Then, once the fruit ripens, I'll get to pick it and indulge the sweetness of my labor all by myself. <laughs> I like how cold you sound. You're tempting me to push your buttons a bit more. Relax, relax. I'll behave for the time being. No need to be so on edge. I won't do anything strange to you, I think. Actually, I've been diligently protecting you, you know. I got rid of all types of pests that tried to get in your way. Ew, don't mention me and the Fraxidus in the same sentence. I couldn't care less about their petty games, but if they even think of laying their dirty fingers on you... <sighs> You're mine, and I don't like sharing. Just a couple tricks and I had those fools flapping around like headless chickens. What a boring crowd. Whoa, don't tell me you haven't noticed. Enjoyed your nightly rendezvous with that long maiden? You have me to thank for keeping those Fraxidus people away. Well... I've answered plenty of questions already. Now it's your turn. Huh. Do you think I'd entertain your inquiries if I didn't have a blade on my throat? Anyway... I'm not trying to get any answers from you, but I'll be watching you. You're a very special seed. That I'm very sure. I can feel something oddly familiar about you. My name is Camellia. Next time. And she's gone. Huh. That was fast.
Rover, what took you so long to answer? Did something happen? Is that a friend or a foe? Are you hurt? Phew, at least you're safe. Shizia noticed a guy acting suspicious. I think she's keeping an eye on him. Sure. We are in the shopping district. See you then. Rover, there you are. We walked the streets, wearing the Blake Bloom like you said. Talked to various people, but I didn't hear anything useful. Shizia did say she found someone suspicious. Look, it's him! Rover, perfect timing! This guy's been sniffing around here for a while now. He keeps trying to talk to the elderly and minors. I've been keeping an eye on him. And I saw a little girl with him. She kept turning her head and looking around, but now she's nowhere to be found. This is super fishy. Hey, I'm Patrol Achisha. Sir, business license, please. But business license? Uh-oh. I'm Alto, just a humble information broker. I've been traveling around, helping people out in my own small way. I see. So no license. I bet you don't have a fixed business location either, huh? Business location? Why would I need that? Hmm. Now show me your organizational accreditation, please. Well... I'm an honest broker of information, always open to negotiations at the right price. I'm the all-time Intel champ, with more bestseller certificates than I can count. No license? No clear business plan? You're running an illegal business. Then... Um... Who's your supervisor? You should at least have their ID number. My supervisor. Oh, right. She's like a super big deal. She's an ancient being, born with this planet we're living on. She's the will of the star, the reverberation of everything in this world. So do you even have a supervisor or not? What? <laughs> Come on, I already told you about her. Why won't you believe me? Yeah, yeah, I believe you. I know what's going on. Now, sir, you're coming with me to the patroller station. Oh, come on, please. I didn't do anything illegal. I was just looking for someone, a little girl. Um, about this tall? She's the kind of stand out in any crowd. You really think I'm gonna buy that? Oh, you know, you saw her earlier. It's that girl. Yeah, exactly. Wait, how do you know? For you. Back off! Leave that girl alone. Miss Patroller, she's the girl I've been looking for. How 
Hello, little one. Is your name Encore? Do you know this person? Yes! Encore knows him. Uncle Alto sells stuff without a license. He listens in on people for commercial secrets, and he loves pulling pranks on us kids. But he's not a bad guy, really. Ah, uh, Encore! Remember our little chat? What did I say about calling me uncle in public again? I am not that old. Miss Farina? Where did you meet this girl? I ran into her near a cliff on my way home. She was eating a poisonous mushroom. to make her the antidote in time. Imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there. Don't worry. Encores have plenty of that mushroom already. But why did you go to such a dangerous place alone, little Encore? We got your back, little one. No worries. Just tell us what you know. Because... because Encore must keep an eye on him. <laughs> uh, kids could have such wild imagination sometimes. <laughs> hey, Alto! Didn't you just send Encore there? Wait, why are they all giving you the side eye? Encore! Some things are better left unspoken, you know. Since the situation has come to this, I've got no choice but to tell you. Indeed! We're here for business, and it's a crucial one. You want to know what it is? Let's go, Encore! Hey! Alto! Wait for me! See ya! We still have a world to save! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> we can't let him get away! I I'll go search in the residential area. I know the streets here like the back of my hand. to you. The gaps between each mist figure are shrinking. Over there, at the end of that alley. Huh. Now you're here. Well, we weren't really running from you. We just wanted to make sure you were alone. Be good, please. Encore and Uncle Alto won't do anything bad to you. The 
That's enough, Encore. You're freaking our precious client out. Encore just did as Alto said. Encore is usually a good girl. Don't be scared, Rover. We just have a few questions for you. Was it your idea to have those two ladies wear those counterfeit Blake Blooms and attract our attention? I must admit, they looked quite convincing. If I was an outsider, I might mistake them for the real deal. So, you worked with a plant-type resonator. Interesting. A plant-type resonator. We happen to know someone like that too, don't we? Yeah, there are more than one of them out there. Not a big deal. So please, tell us, what do you want from the Black Shores? So that lead about you is right indeed. Like what they say here in Huang Long, the straight hook is for willing fish to bite. Da -da -da -da! Your efforts finally caught our attention. Surprise! The people you've been looking for are right in front of you. Now, how's that for a piece of intel? I'll let you have it, free of charge. Oh, not that disappointed look. Gotta learn how to enjoy a surprise while you can, or life gets real boring, you know? I know you must have a ton of questions for me, but one moment, please. As you already know, I'm an information broker. That means I make deals instead of passing out freebies. You want information from me? You gotta give me something in return. <laughs> Relax, Rover. We just wanna make a deal with you. We want you to come with us to an abandoned Court of Savante facility to help us recover a resonance beacon. In turn, I'll tell you everything we know so far. Our business is centered around customer satisfaction and built on integrity. Otherwise, we wouldn't qualify as consultants of the Black Shores. And since you're a first time customer, I'm pleased to offer you an additional gift. Here, have this. This should prove you're serious, since you already know what it represents. If you still have doubts about us, just show it to that plant-savvy young miss. She'll be able to tell. Finally, as a last resort. Encore! Do your cute face! Quick! Poor child, pleading to you like that. How could anyone have the heart to decline? The deal settled then. We'll be waiting for you near this beacon in Whining Ix's mire. And don't forget to come alone, okay? Rover, did you find them? Way. As I expected, this flower is indeed a type of remnant plant, and it contains a very unique kind of remnant energy. The concentration is much higher than usual, too. No way! Are they really from the Black Shores? <laughs> Not as mysterious as people make them out to be. Well, at least they're good at running. I'll give them that. What did they tell you? Place. I only heard it's an abandoned research institution. There is nothing special about it. Because of the dangerous weather conditions in Whining Ix's mire, 
It's been ages since anyone went there. Don't worry, Yang Yang. We all know how strong our rover is. Okay, rover? I'll tell the Academy about this, and they'll help transmit your data from the Resonance Nexus. Then, that beacon in the Whining Ix's mire should be unlocked for you. There have been frequent tacit field activities recently. If you're going there alone, please be careful. Just ring us whenever you need a hand. We'll come rushing. Rover. I've sent the coordinates of that CSC research facility to your terminal. Now that we're in the same boat, let me fill you in on what we're getting into before we dive in. The Corda Sabante is a mysterious scientific research organization. They're best known for their research in automata mechanics. But what really put them on the map isn't that. It's all the bizarre experiments they did. What's with the psychedelic black light coming from Morning Ix's mire? And is that freaky ring in the waters really the lake monster's doing? One day, a daring young scientist soared into the sky and never returned. Could this be the beginning of another diabolical plot? Alto, why are you telling bedtime stories now? Is it time to sleep already? Ahem, my bad. Old habits die hard, but a big part is coming right up. One day, out of the blue, every single Corda Savante member vanished. The last words from that mysterious researcher, the Corda Savante Committee's chairman, was this. Ahem, you want my research? You can have it! I left everything I gathered in the Corda Savante's labs. Now, you'll just have to find it. What do you think, Rover? Aren't you curious? Wait, don't go! We really do have an important mission on our hands. I suppose the Magistrate Jinjo has already told you what we do? We've set up resonance beacons worldwide to monitor the lament, collecting data in real time. This is how we predict when the next lament is happening. As the saying goes, one miss is as good as a mile. Every single one of those resonance beacons is crucial. After the Corda Savante researchers disappeared, all of our resonance beacons near their facilities were damaged to varying degrees. Recently, something went wrong with our lament detection system, and we suspected it had something to do with a damaged beacon around the area. That's why we've been sent here, to investigate the case. While our main goal is to retrieve the lost resonance beacons, we also might find some treasures. Alto, even Encore can tell what you're up to. It's called seize the opportunity while I can. <laughs> you're just too young to get it. Come on, let's go. Strike from the shadows.
Is my TV detector working? How come it didn't warn us as soon as it did Discord zone? Because they all just appeared out of nowhere. Anyway, let's deal with that. This is a place. Ugh. Those savants really love their puzzles. D <laughs> no wonder folks never managed to get inside after all these years. Their security is top notch. That's because Alto set off the security alarm, and now the gate's closed. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, we've got to figure out how to open it up again. Looks like a sundial, don't you think? Maybe if you spin the dials to align every pointer in the same direction. This is... Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Those crazy savants. They were trying to recreate the Retroact Reign. Never thought they could pull off something like this. Incredible. The Retroact Rain is essentially a form of condensed remnant energy from the Etheric Sea. Various events across space and time from every dimension are recorded in the form of remnant energy. The Retroact Rain conjures illusions of past events for those exposed to it. That rain curtain we saw earlier was probably the result of their experiments. Before the Retroact Rain forms, it goes through three stages. In the first stage, it looks just like any regular rain. And what we're seeing now should be the second stage. Water droplets floating in midair, being absolutely still. I've heard of plenty independent studies on the Retroact Rain. Most of the researchers were driven by their obsessions, while some wanted to relive a particular experience, and others yearn to reunite with their loved ones. But <laughs> Look at all these devices here. The sheer scale of this research is really something. It really makes one wonder. What on earth were they trying to bring back of such a massive retroact train? The power system here might still work. Let's split up and find it. Hooray! Willie's right away!
Jack Fraxidus Overseer has been really generous with his sponsorship. It would have taken us much longer to build this place without him. Though he loves to meddle with our experiments a bit too much, well, he's our patron. Can't do anything about that. This lab's location is a bit too remote for me, but I'm okay with it as long as we can keep doing our research. Yeah, where else could us maniacs possibly go? The committee kicked us out like trash. They'll never understand. As Professor Heisen stated, we are embarking on a monumental endeavor with the power to redefine humanity's future. This time, we will make the divine miracle we saw happen again for all of humanity to behold. Experiments have been going smoothly, but we still can't get the desired outcome. Why? The Artificial Retroactive Rain Project has advanced to its second phase. We have various evidence that this ancient civilization was the whining Aix's mire at some point. We believed we could recreate that divine miracle with the artificial retroact rain. Have we been mistaken? We have no time left. The artificial controllable tacit field should be complete by now. We'll have to rely on our backup plan. How's subject A038 doing lately? It has yet to assume a concrete form or exhibit vocalization behavior. In most cases, it remains motionless. However, we notice some behavioral discrepancies from our initial expectations, and further observation and research would be necessary. It's merely a replica, after all. It's far from the true form of those gods. 
by the way, things have been mysteriously disappearing lately. Any idea? You notice it too. Thought I was imagining things. And there's weird noises at the lab late at night. I suspect it is something to do with subject A038. Lately, its frequencies have always displayed signs of hunger. But it's been under strict surveillance. That couldn't possibly be 8038, right? I'll go check the security cameras once more. Let's increase its rations. We can't afford to let it go hungry. After all, it's our last hope now. of the past. Now, this is the last room. Alvin, over! Encore spotted something! every gain. Conceptions, waning passion, and my own ignorance. Only in the end did I realize time is my ultimate foe. I became blindsided by my fear of death and insatiable thirst for truth eventually derailing our research. It was too late when I finally came back to my senses. We... we had already walked into that false gate. Now... I'm leaving my last realization behind. They are our past, but they are also our future. Had I realized it sooner, there might have been a chance to get things back on track. The future being hailing from our past. Please save us once again.
please keep pushing forward until you reach the real gate that can change the world. Rover, about this person. <laughs> Knew it. Great. Now that power's been restored, the elevator should work. The beacon signal is coming from below. Let's go. Those savants never run out of new surprises for us. The signal's coming from it. Did it swallow our resonance beacon? Looks like peace is an option. Guys, brace yourself. We'll need to take it down. Alto, we doing it like we usually do? Of course. <laughs> Then this big guy is Encore's to tackle! Cosmos! Cloudy! Attack! Let me figure out its weakness. Let me figure out its... Let me figure out its... Let me figure out its weakness. I see! It's cobbled together from these metal parts. The foreign parts to counter its attacks and destroy its unstable structure. Bully, let's race! The hour is upon us. According to our findings earlier, researchers who worked here were probably only a small faction of the Corte Savante Committee. They were likely studying an ancient civilization they deemed to be divine beings. They later got denounced from the CSC due to their extreme methods. Somehow, 
They believed this ancient civilization had once visited the mire, which led to their attempts at recreating those past events with artificial retroact rain. And when they failed to recreate the retroact rain, they resorted to making a replica of the lost civilization instead. To get their desired results faster, they started feeding this replica various frequencies, data sets, and mechanical constructs. <laughs> and we've seen what that ended up with. It turned into a monster, driven by the frequencies of hunger, devouring everything in its path. It was probably the culprit behind the disappearance of those folks. And I suspect the Fraxidus Overseer mentioned in that log may have something to do with it all. Those researchers, they were too obsessed with validating the divine miracle they experienced. They eventually got lured into the monster's frequencies of hunger and willingly walked into its maw. The monster devoured them, but not with its teeth. Their own delusions and fear were their undoing in the end. <laughs> what a crazy bunch. So, Rover, now it's time for me to fulfill my promise. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? As you already know, we monitor and research the Lament, and we've got residence beacons set up in every nation worldwide. The island our headquarters are built on is in fact a massive piece of tacitite ore, which powers our various energy intensive operations. This Blake Bloom is a product of that overflowing energy on the island. Our island is located in the perfect spot to accurately monitor the Lament, ensuring precise predictions. That being said, the Lament's behavior is constantly changing, and we are still studying to understand its true nature. All we could do for now is observe the Lament, study its patterns, and provide early warnings to countries worldwide. What do you want to know about the Black Shore? All right, all right, no more beating around the bush. Yeah, we've had our eyes on you. But please, trust me, we don't mean anything bad. We just wanted to make sure you're a dependable ally. The Black Shore's members all work together to save the world from the Lament Crisis. We've got talents from all walks of life including skilled hackers, explosive experts, and even feng shui masters. You name it, we have it. We like your skills and methods. So what do you say? Ready to jump on board? What do you want to know about the Black Shores? Camellia? Of course we do. Yeah, she can be kind of unhinged, but she's indeed one of ours. Just so you know, she only took up this mission because of you. Quite the charmer, aren't you? So you've met her already? Nice. Save me some time introducing. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? We just received a warning from our Lament Detection System. Another Thronodian is about to revive near Jinjo City. So, we came here to inform Jinjo's Magistrate about it. Yes. Entire countries have been destroyed. We're not letting such tragedies happen again. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? I'm just an insignificant consultant at the Black Shores, so I don't know that much about all its hidden secrets. But I believe the piece of intel I'm about to share with you will make this trip worth your effort. This is not the first time you've been reawakened. Last time, you woke up at the Black Shores. Rover, we share the same goal. We're both aiming to fight against the Thernodians and prevent the Lament Crisis. Yep, Onkar can prove it. The Thernodian is a bad, bad guy, and Onkar and Alto are the heroes of justice. So we're gonna stop the bad guys. I understand. Trust isn't something you could afford to give out that easily. Remember the Blake Bloom I gave you earlier? It's more than just a symbol. It also holds the key to our headquarters. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you. Phew! Anyway, mission accomplished!
We've got the resonance beacon secured, plus a sweet bonus of Corda Savante's big secrets. Glad I got you on board, Rover. Looking forward to our future collaborations. Oops, almost forgot. Gotta check the resonance beacon again, just in case. Wait, this is... No, it can't be. Encore heard lightning. When there's lightning, it's gonna rain. And when it's gonna rain, Encore should bring an umbrella. Oh, no, 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 no. Alto said when it rains like this, we hide. No. This is... It's the real Retroact Rain. Rover, Jinjo. Jinjo is under attack. It's a TD outbreak. This rain, it's finally happening. General. Yes, how's it going? We have 500 remaining soldiers prepared and medically cleared for combat. After receiving the antidote for retroact rain, they have reported minimal hallucinations and no adverse effects. However, a few veterans still reported sporadic sightings of phantoms in the rain. I see. Stay alert. We will continue as planned. Report any signs of potential TD outbreaks immediately. We march on to the Norfall Barrens as soon as the rain stops. Aye, sir. Stronger emotional connection to the affected area leads to more intense hallucinations. That's what they said. I should go for another round of inspection. Make sure everything is going as planned. General, we're all clear in the West. Good. Have you had more hallucinations after the antidote? No sign of those retroact rain phantoms they warned us about, but I just heard some weird noises from the North. Stay here and hold your post. I'll go check it out. Understood. General. Greetings. How are you feeling after the antidote? 
I feel much better, but the phantoms are still coming back from time to time. Three years. It's been three years already. I was on the Vanguard team during that battle. Memories of those teammates who lost their minds fighting those phantoms haunt me to this day. Those phantoms, illusions of both soldiers and those monsters, they were not real, but somehow they could injure and kill us. We had to strike them down to survive. But then, our dead comrades were coming back to life, ready to stab us behind our backs. It was chaos. We were terrified. Couldn't tell friend from foe. The retroact rain contains remnant energy that can recreate past events and project them as phantoms. Those phantoms can transform into familiar people or objects by resonating with living humans in the rain through their frequencies. During that battle, the rain's effect was further enhanced by the Thranodian's power. That was why the phantoms gained physical forms, and why the rain could recreate very recent events, like bringing back dead soldiers. Unaware of the mechanism behind it, we tried to eliminate all the phantoms, and it only worsened the situation. Now we know the phantoms are merely replicas of past events. While not a perfect solution, the antidote for retroact rain can lessen its effects and help us differentiate between reality and hallucinations. Keep your chin high. Our fallen comrades wouldn't want to see us downtrodden like this. Yes, sir. I will pull myself together. General, you were there during the battle beneath the Crescent too. Please be careful of the phantoms in our camp. Can we really trust that medic? I do think we should be careful. Something's wrong with this rain. Hey, you see? The raindrops. They're falling up. It's the retroact rain. That day, as the rain fell, we watched in uncertainty, unsure whether it was a sign of hope or disaster. The retroag rain should have been a harmless, wave-worn phenomenon. However, the Thranodian's influence enhanced its effect, turning that battle into a brutal slaughter. Our city could not endure another tragedy like that. Let's join the Riverside Games after we beat that monster. The Riverside Games? You won first place in the last armed race, remember? And don't back out now. I already counted you in. We haven't held the Riverside Games in years. This should be another illusion from the past. If everything goes well, perhaps we can hold it again this year. I packs a serious punch. It's already so powerful in my hands when I'm just an ordinary person. Now, if I was a resonator. Careful. Tassocide weapons are not so safe to operate. Rest assured, I'll take out those monsters before it blows up in my face. The Ministry of Development once designed a weapon for non-resonator units to combat tacit discords. As non-resonators lack the necessary forte to control the weapon, and prolonged exposure to tacitite energy posed health risks, designers limited its output for safety reasons. That's why the weapons couldn't operate at full power. After taking over as general, I revamped the Midnight Ranger's recruitment tactics. Our primary combat units now consist of resonators, with a significant decrease in non-resonator members who have been reassigned to support roles. I still remember the admirable courage in those ordinary people's eyes as they volunteered to join the military. 
But I cannot let more unnecessary casualties happen. The plan is simple. We will use the cliffs as a boundary to divide the battlefield into two. Our ranged units will secure the high ground while our ground forces charge through the narrow valley. Meanwhile, we will deploy resonators to the suspended ruins where most of the tacit discords are located. Squad 2 and 3 will flank while General Geshu leads Squad 1 to break their front line. Our goal is to shift from defense to offense and disrupt their strategies. Everything is at stake here. In a word, it's victory or death. Our strategic plan was crafted three years ago, taking into account the terrain and Norfall Barrens. Its value remains crucial today, but now, our enemies are even stronger than before. There could be unknown risk factors. We must devise a new plan for the current situation. by the retroact rain? General. General. We've got all equipment repaired, tactile weapons adjusted and given to the resonators. Non-resonators are also equipped and prepared for action. But... The rain's getting heavier. Should we take shelter for the time being? One of our combat medics claims it's no ordinary downpour, and he strongly advises holding off any moves until it clears. Though young, his sharp intuition has been proven in previous battles. You've seen it firsthand. However, I do agree this will be our last chance at organizing another attack. Sir, his, sure, name, his is... name is... Jihan. General, help. Help, help. Please, help me. What do you make of this, Gian? Maybe you are right. The rain just happened out of nowhere. It's indeed unusual, but... This is our only chance. to destroy it is finally right before us. And now, you're asking me to sit back and do nothing because of some phantoms. Silence. Is this your response? Or is it fear holding your tongue? No, I see. You're no different. 
we fear, we bleed, we suffer, and in the end, we'll all die on the battlefield. But what about your brethren, friends, and comrades, as you witness them viciously slain before your eyes, one by one? Will you still remain silent when their souls demand an answer? There is no other choice. We must trample the pile of corpses at our feet and push on. Keep barking orders. Keep fighting until every last one of those monsters is gone. The Retroact Reign merely creates illusions of past events. My soldiers will not succumb to those hallucinations. I will not allow it. We'll crush anything in our path, no questions asked. And I will pave the way for us all with my forte. If tens, hundreds, thousands more of my men will die, so be it. We will win this battle by any means necessary. John, I have a question for you. What would you have done on that day if you were in my position? Whatever you say, I'll never answer those brave souls with such silence and cowardice. Prove yourself to me, Gian. Finale! Caught you off guard, didn't they? Just like what happened on that rainy night. Tell truth from the side. General Gershu... General Gershu Lin. We fight to protect what we cherish. And we cherish our comrades not out of cowardice or fear, but out of trust. The trust in their lives' worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. <laughs> Is that so? As I see it, you're cut from the same cloth, you and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in. And I'll stop at nothing to see it through. General. General, you look pale. I'm fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon, it's gradually turning full now, as you predicted. The sky. It looks just like how it was during the battle beneath the crescent. It's time. 
Sir, the Midnight Rangers are ready. We await your orders. Attention all troops. Take position and get ready to engage. Sir. When the moon turns full, a roving traveler shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Here they are. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something, or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be? It looks almost full now, and the retroact rain falling. Rover? Maybe this is the right time Madam Magistrate was talking about. Citizens of Jinjo, please remain calm and evacuate in an orderly manner as we practiced during previous drills. It's a pre-recorded broadcast message. Our Magistrate saw this coming, and she had General Jian devise an emergency plan a long time ago. We knew this was coming, and we were ready, but oh boy, the amount of TDs is insane! Thanks for coming in time, Rover. It would have taken us much longer to handle this. Oh, Director Tao Chi is here too. For a better rundown of the situation, you can find her near the city gate. <laughs> <laughs> 